Hello guys, Ray Gehring, music instructor here at the New York Music Co-op. This is my installment in a three-part series along with Nathaniel and Liz on finger picking. Not necessarily our different approaches, but our different perspectives on technique and uh, where it benefits you. There's one thing that will be a constant throughout these three videos, and that is establishing a basic foundation of proper technique. What I began with was just a little ditty and A there. So a little uh, demonstration of how I use finger picking as a solo guitar technique. All right, so focus on my right hand here. Uh, essentially, here's my thumb stroke, straight on through. Also kind of defined by that muscle there. But anyway, there are times where I curve it in a little bit just uh, depending on where I'm at and depending upon what the dynamic in the song calls for. All right, so I'm going to show you Okay. All right, just be sure that you're focusing on this knuckle as opposed to this knuckle. All right, so here's a clean follow through, free stroke. All right, you can see right there when I, I am flexing that uh, muscle or the knuckle in there, that turns a little wider. Anyway, so if I were to move from here, well, there's not the same thing there. Clearly that's wider, and that is a darker color. All right, so that's one indication. Just try to move right from that knuckle there. All right, there are times in other types of music that uh, I have to change that technique just a bit because the music calls for it. Uh, let's say something with uh, blues. All right. I'm placing my hand back here, not so much as a mute, but a good way to use this knuckle to get a percussive pull. And then at some point I'm going to come back to this. So once you get comfortable with really moving from this muscle in here, even when I'm doing something like a, a all right, I'm still basically using these knuckles as my foundation for movement. Right? Um, and this is great if you're playing in a rock situation. Because you get this steady rhythm with a percussive roll. You can get it with a pick as well. All right, I chose the electric guitar again because it poses different challenges. As I was strumming, the resistance of steel strings and these heavy acrylic um, overlays on my nails uh, really can be a bright sound and so I have to learn to back off or when to come in stronger. So I'm using this guitar to um, challenge my technique a bit. And I've been using this guitar a lot recording recently and it presents its own challenges. Uh, you really have to be careful where you put your fingers on this guitar, I do, because otherwise I'm going to be on top of the pick or on top of a fret. So as you can see here. And I need to be really careful where I choose placement of my hand because I may hit the pickup or one of its poles, magnetic poles. I may come further onto the fretboard, which <laughs> not such a great idea, um, although I've gotten used to it. 
uh, meaning that if I accidentally get up there, I learned how to manipulate that and quickly get back. Uh, same here, don't want to hit that one, don't want to hit this one. It does happen, and when it does, I learned it's sort of either, depending on the style, rock again, more like that, but I will completely let up on my fingers that is use only the very end of the nail and then try to get into a better space. So this guitar really presents a series of challenges because it's so much more responsive to the touch of the right hand. Again, especially with these heavy acrylic overlays on my right hand. And that's the end of the technical talk with the right hand. You know, just make sure that whatever you play sounds clean and clear. I don't want... So you want to make all those notes as smooth as possible. And our video series is how to help you achieve that.